they do have a lot of love for you and wanted to go more but the fact is is that they're insecure about something like they think that either they're paranoid because of the um, the trials and tribulations that they've had went through so they don't trust very much which i can completely understand with this or the fact that they're insecure so they don't feel that you're they're good enough so they want to you know make sure that the answer is yes before they even ask it okay and this is where you protect yourself and this person needs to protect themselves as well because there's all adversities around them trying to stop this. This is why you have to be, you know, um, logical about things. If you know people are not happy for you, do you really talk about it? Or are they going to try to put some blockages in your way in order for you to feel inadequate or less than? Okay, especially if you have a lo um, um, not a good mindset and you're stuck in this mental entrapment all the time. So you're playing like this victim mentality. It's going to cause you to be insecure when you put your so much trust on the people around you and they, you know, let you down with the things of uh, like um, telling you you're not good enough or that you don't deserve that when you do. The four of pentacles somebody is definitely holding on to you guys or you're holding on to an idea and this is why it's not good to set any expectations you know you you keep doing you and you attract these beautiful things if you're the empress it's about attracting okay because you have the king of pentacles here with the sun wow okay look what was underneath look what you're protecting you're protecting a brand new beginning, something that's going to bring you joy, enlightenment, fulfillment, ten of fucking pentacles. So it's definitely worth the leap of faith and taking the new beginning, but you're going to have to see where the heartbreak is so you can heal that and not bleed on another. You know, you can have this security to understand that if a person chooses you, it's because they love you. It, there's no other reason other than that. Six of pentacles, uh, six of swords is talking about moving away to calmer waters. Getting away from the turbulence of everybody else's idea and getting out of this five uh, wands and fighting internally or externally and start working together as a team to build something that you want. Foundation, stability, mind, body, soul to, you know, have something to leave for your children. That's the Ten of Pentacles, the legacy, the home, the foundation, the everything. Now, somebody is uh, two of pentacles, trying to juggle finances, time management, okay? Because there's so much in the dark right now with this earth angel or these feelings of, of a lot of emotions, trying to balance it out to, to have practicality and spirituality, to really get the protection necessary to bring in this cup of love and start to invest in something that's investable, something that's going to be tangible, worthwhile, and have longevity, the lovers guys it's about a choice remember we have a choice to choose between the light and the dark there is no wrong choice because we learn lessons through these experiences but when we choose the light archangel gabriel comes in and really does slay all the demons for us to to protect that energy six of cups you have somebody from your past or past life like i said you could know them already but they don't know who you are now or you could not even know them at all, but feel like they're home because they're from your past life. Three of Wands, you're waiting for this and it's got somebody very much up in their head with the Nine of Swords. They're reminiscing, they can't sleep very well and it's because of this world, the ending of the cycles. Karmic completions, guys, check that out. Karmic completions, ending of the cycles. Just for the fun, there was a lot of third parties, interferences. Somebody was a player play from the Himalaya and they cared about what the external world thinks. And now everything's coming, coming, crumbling down because of these endings of cycles. Somebody is getting public recognition and victory gets the King of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in with a big offer for you, okay? So always take it as it resonates. But one door closes, another one opens, and look what popped out. <laughs> because you're the empress it's about divine timing guys so never give up you have somebody coming in somebody who has got um structure discipline it's going to teach you something so listen up every day is a learning opportunity 
the two of swords. Somebody is getting out of this mental entrapment. They're no longer being naive and pretending like they don't see. Oh, they see. They see you very clearly. <laughs> Let's see what the ancestors have to say. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped you. Let's get some more clarity. Spirit guides, thank you. <laughs> Spirit of truth. I don't fucking make it up. The spirit's coming in with the truth. That's all that really takes to set people free is to be authentic to their core values so they can build a real home, stable foundation internally. It's, who cares what everybody else is doing? It's about hope. It's about going after what you want, having hope and faith in the bigger picture and understanding that you do deserve better so you can have to work for it internally and then externally first. That's how manifestations happen, guys ancestor of knowing you have the knowing you have the kashic records and you have raw to you know help give you some energy to motivate you and replenish you when you're drained out so you have the hope to persevere through the truth to know that you're never gonna you're never you're never gonna be lost in the mystery because you have the knowing hope gives you so much you know, you could be in the biggest challenges and have no idea what's next. None. <laughs> but have hope in knowing that you will make the right choice when it comes to you. That you will read the energies, manipulate the energies to be of light so that this way the truth will prevail and everything will come together. And any challenges you had <laughs> fuck I love my ancestors <laughs> will be healed with your wisdom through the perseverance through the knowledge through the truth you have tradition the mystery you're able to really mold and mend and See the skills that you developed with your ancestors to go through the challenges to understand that you are a healer. You're the shaman of the stars. So you're connected. You're grounded. You are fertile. <laughs> Let's see what the universe has to say for us, okay? So somebody loves you. Somebody sees that you're starting a brand new beginning with this wisdom from the past. And they have hope. Because you are a healer, so they know that if the truth comes out, you will be able to heal the situation because you've been through so much challenges, Capricorn, when it comes to the devil, like codependent energies, toxicities, and binding, you've been here, so you know how to get out of it, and you really don't care what anybody else thinks. If you love something, you go for it. It's about ambition, realism, and methodological steps, meaning there is steps to this. You can't jump the gun, guys. This is not how it works. Cardinal. It's about integration, bravery, and being a pioneer spirit, which means you have to ask the hard questions. If it doesn't make sense, make it fucking make sense. If it doesn't make sense, you walk the fuck away. You know, and it's about truth. So if somebody's going to lie right to your face and tell you you're the liar, that's scapegoating, which means that they're a narcissist, which means that they need to do some fucking work, which means they need to get the fuck out of your face until they do the work. And then you can talk about it and become the, you know, be brave and have the, you know, the spunk, the tenacity to really go forward. Be the pioneer spirit, but you're gonna have to do the work, you know. Nobody's just gonna get it like this. Sometimes we gotta go through the trial and errors and see the challenges and the mysteries internally to get the knowing and wisdom to start something new. Through that, the trials and tribulations is how we get the skills, okay? And we do have hope for a better future once we do start to have empathy. The first house individuality self-image and a new approach to life guys like i said it's about individuality what do you want because it's about radical change change it up bust your life up blow your life up eliminate what no longer serves you and i'm telling you the best will come to you because you are at the right vibration for these things to come in and if you feel you're insecure and don't deserve these things i promise you you do you just have to have the the gut to do these, to go after this radical change, to be an individual, to express yourself, to have a new approach to the situation and to be brave and start investigating situations and be in the pioneer spirit because Saturn is here, guys. I don't make it up. You, Somebody is feeling restricted and then they're experiencing a struggle because they're learning a hard lesson through experiences and this is how they're going to get that patience. 
Cancer. You could be a cancer. They could be a cancer. It's talking about nurturing, comfort, and protection. This is what everybody wants. This is what everybody needs, but you have to give it to yourself first. And if you don't have that around you, it's because of the fact that you're not doing it internally, okay? Second house. Physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Guys, it's all about self-worth. Physical security. <sighs> Somebody may be a little bit materialistic, and that's not what life is, guys, okay? Square. It's about a challenging situation, a mountain to climb, guys. You want somebody who's going to take the limo with you, yes, but you want somebody who's going to take the bus with you if it breaks down or until you can get a car, like, for real, for real, for real. You need to be authentic. You need to be who you are because the Virgo is here. Integrity. <laughs> Reverence and service. Yo, I just fucking said that. And then you have the conjunction. There's a union emerging and coming together because but we're gonna have to, you know, put aside the 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 nonsense, the devil like energies because look, there's nothing there. So what's at the heart of the deck? Jupiter. It's time to grow and expand. I don't make it up. I pulled the cards, but ancestors the real one who's talking, so you guys should appreciate her. Him. Them. The universe is quite, quite amazing. So thank you guys for all the love you give me and my ancestors. Now, forgiveness and learning comes up with the um, Romance Oracle deck, okay? It says, as you release and heal your past, you experience more love in the present moment. Okay, it's time to let go of the past. There's nothing you can do about it, but we can transform, we can mold, and we can become something better. It says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the biggest energy of all, love. And remember, forgiveness is for you, not for the other person. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Remember that, okay? It's about really just being you. You have a wedding coming in. And it says, give your, roman uh, give your relationship a chance. It says, this situation involves marriage. It says, work on your partnership. Okay? And at the heart of the deck, it says, children, your love life is being affected by children. New love. A new partner has stirred up your romantic partnership your, and your feelings. All right. So this new partner may want to marry you. Take it as it resonates. And an old partner might want to come in and tell you to work on that partnership. Take it as it resonates. Either way, you're very fucking attractive and it's safe for you to love. Now, children may be a factor, maybe because you're a single mother or maybe somebody wants to have children with you or maybe because they have children. So it would be a blended family. Always take it as it resonates. But forgiveness and learning is here and it will help you to... To bring in this new love or this old love, this is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help you to bring you together. Remember that what is meant for you will always find you. Okay. Let's get some juice, guys. I know it's late in the reading, but guess what? Cash is spilling the tea. So cheers, cheers. Mm. You have doors open. You definitely got this. You're definitely going towards what you want. And it's got a lot of people looking at you. <laughs> but a, a bunch of looking asses. But somebody might be looking and wanting to help you too. Look, that marriage card came out. Somebody's looking at you. Maybe it's an ex an ex husband. Um I, I don't I don't know, but somebody's feeling foolish because they see the doors opening for you and they're watching you they're spying on you most definitely and it could be an ex or it could be somebody who wants to marry you take it as it resonates somebody is feeling foolish like i said they're watching and stalking you they see that these doors are opening and energy never lies and these looking ass people see that energy never lies and now somebody wants to come and communicate with the air energy you could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, take it as it resonates, but they want to communicate about this marriage. Now this brother, brother-like figure, your brother, their brother, take it as it resonates. It could be blood, it could be street blood brother, whatever, but they're feeling foolish because this husband is watching and stalking and wants to open up a door for you. Wow. Well then. <laughs> 